I'm Shovel and welcome to my channel. Today we are back on Kingdom Craft and I have a specific goal for today. I want to try and get a million dollars in the game because I have been poor for too long on this server. So I'm just gonna like spend a while doing whatever I can think of to try and make money. Plan is first start with maybe a couple hours killing zombies at my zombie spawner and selling all the rotten flesh. I usually get every time I have like half of an inventory full of stacks of rotten flesh, I usually get maybe like 20,000, 30,000. Then I think I'm gonna go into the nether and mine some quartz because I do know that quartz blocks the ores, not actual just bits of quartz. If I were to silk touch, is worth a lot of money on the server. What I do need to do, because I had to move my teleports around for certain different things. So I'm gonna go and walk there. After that, I'm thinking like mining and I'll probably do a lot of the work on this on stream. So like, make sure you're following me on Twitch, twitch.tv slash yt. You know what else though? I was suggested, I don't know what this is about, but I'm gonna take it because I kind of need food and that's a lot of raw beef. I'm gonna fly through the painting in here and get some TNT. That's apparently the best way of getting TNT on the server and that's like, pretty much what everybody's been doing. Uh, also, a side note, I went and did a mission with Scott in the end, where now my elytra broken, but I flew around trying to find an airship for him to also have elytra. I need to get levels anyways, so I can repair it, and also, oh my god, no. I shouldn't have stopped to talk. Uh, so the thing I was gonna say is, I already died? And so my Curse of Vanishing Sword is like long gone. <laughs> okay, well, let's uh, run really quick. I'm gonna run in, grab my stuff, and I think run back out and then try again getting the TNT. Why did I stop in there to talk? This is not a time to chat. Also, Ollie's on, so like, hopefully he doesn't figure out where I was doing that. We already have been betrayed by Ollie, which I did find out. The reason that Joel got into my base, I know Ollie teleported him in. There was literally no other way that he would have found it, but it was because Ollie allowed Joel to TP to him and Ollie didn't realize where he was when he did it. Ollie had been using my base just for enchanting and just to use my stuff, not anything malicious, and accidentally teleported Joel in. So, <laughs> it is what it is. Okay, is he gonna still be in here? <gasps> There's a spawner in here. Oh my god, 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 that's new. Okay, so there's a spawner in there now. That's why that happened. I am gonna try again, though. Go. You get like two stacks TNT every time that you do it. Worth it any chance that you get it, although I didn't know there was a spawner in there. That definitely was, uh, purposeful. I also grabbed an unbreaking six pickaxe while I was in there. That's sweet. Okay. On to the zombie spawner. Ooh, spooky. Here we are. We also have a lot of just junk in here that I really don't know what to do with. And then after I've been here and get like a full inventory of rotten flesh, we'll go and sell it. Hopefully it can slash back if it works and if it doesn't, we'll move on because I don't want to walk here again. Okay, so after like a couple hours, I have a full inventory of rotten flesh. I just wanted to see how much money this gets me and I'll probably do this several more times before I also will be going into the nether and mining there. But I just wanna see how much this gets me because it's really easy to just go AFK and let the flesh pile up. So we are, we're halfway to 100,000. Oh no. So like if I did that 20 more times, I mean, that's possible, but I also wanna see how much we get for going to the nether. Although going and finding quartz might take longer, but let's just see how much I can get and how long it takes to get like maybe a full inventory, as close to a full inventory as we can. It's kind of scary with everything so bright. I don't know why though. It just kind of is. Let's go this way. Cause we can, we can go up here. Spooky. We can always go that way, cause there is a way from here and I don't need to worry about finding my way back cause I can teleport out. This is a good area though. Ain't nobody been here. I don't have any nether active pillar apps. Let's just grab some real quick. Oh, look at that. I almost already have a stack and I kinda wanna find out how much a stack costs and then I can always come back. I'm not, it didn't, I didn't have to go very far to get over here. I mean, let's get up here. Nope. Shh, shh, shh. 
Okay, we have a full stack. I kind of want to just go to spawn to see how much it costs. And then I'll hang out here and spend however long it takes to get a full inventory, maybe? I remember this being the thing at the beginning of the server. Let's sell one stack, 6,000. For one stack. Okay, okay. I only got like 30, 40,000 for full inventory of rotten flesh. So one stack being 6,000. I don't know the math on that, but it seems like it's definitely better. Okay, we're in the nether. I have my full inventory of quartz. From what I could tell, one stack of quartz ore was 6,000 gold. So, we go to spawn. We'll see if I'm able to do slash back here, but my slash back literally never works, but I am gonna try it. All of my stuff disappears forever. There we go, okay. I used nearly my entire self-touch pickaxe doing this. I'm going the wrong way because I'm so excited. I'm just gonna click this like a bajillion times to be sure that I'm selling all of it. Sell. That was everything? That was 170, we have 250,000. We are a quarter of a million. So that means we have to do that three more times. That took like an hour and a half and I already had 70,000. Now let's just see. Ooh, but I have to repair my pickaxe before I go, but I can't do that here unless. I buy enough for an anvil and diamond. I don't think five is gonna be enough to repair it. Let me just see if slashback works, just for funsies. First time ever? <gasps> okay, I'm gonna just like get whatever I can before this breaks, which probably is not gonna be a lot. Maybe now that I've been here, hold on. Okay, I can repair it this much. I will take it. Now, experiment again. Will slashback work for a second time? No. <laughs> well, that's not a problem. Maybe it was time we left the nether. We'll go back another time. Let's get some levels from getting rotten flesh. After two and a half full inventories of quartz ore and two full inventories of rotten flesh, we have made it to half a million dollars. I'm rich. I don't know who has the most money on the server. I'm still going for a million. We've made it halfway. So that's probably where we're gonna make it for today's video. But I am in a strip mine because I don't have any diamonds anymore. So I thought maybe we'd just go mining for a little bit. So I'm just gonna toss all the stuff that I don't want. I'm gonna keep the redstone and sell that to see what we can get for it. If I have extra iron, I'll sell that. I'll sell extra lapis. Also, I was wearing this makeup because I was feeling very inspired by Animal Crossing being released and I was so excited about it. I wanted to look cute. Make sure you're following me on Twitch because I started playing Animal Crossing there, but if you can't go on Twitch, I will be uploading Animal Crossing streams onto my Shovel Live channel. They won't be live over there, they'll be over, but it'll be a chance for you to get to watch me playing Animal Crossing at least, so go subscribe to that channel. There's my cat. Rocket has just a week left in quarantine and I'm hoping that when this week is over, he's he's deemed healthy by the vet so he can return to the rest of the apartment. He's lived in the bathroom for almost two months. He's spent so much of his life in there. He's twice the size of since I got him. He's so big now and I wanna make videos with him and share him on camera cause he's so cuddly and so cute. And you guys just, you, you don't even know yet. You don't even know. And I've apparently been here. Well, there's definitely not gonna be, oh, I don't know why I didn't see that and it scared me, oh my God. Hello? That's kind of scary, right? Maybe I'll just start going this way, go off the beaten track. Wait, is that how it's, is that the first? And I am getting so unlucky with strip mining. There's gold, I'll take that. But like, how is my luck this bad when I strip mine? I hope you guys are all staying safe and healthy during this time of isolation and social distancing and quarantining. I've been eating a lot of mac and cheese and peanut butter. I will be gaining the quarantine 15. If you don't know what that is, they say when you start college, you get the freshman 15, which is you gain 15 pounds in your first year because you just start eating everything because you're at college and you're living on your own. And you pay once to get into the dining hall and you can eat as much as you want, so you do. And then some. Yes! Oh my goodness. 
That took so long because I started mining a while before I started recording. Five diamonds. We have a total now of five diamonds. Sometimes slash back just takes me somewhere random because it doesn't ever work for me and I kind of want to know where it's going to take me. Maybe it'll take me to the nether. Maybe it'll take me to my spawner. Maybe it'll take me home. <laughs> Let's smelt this and then sell it to see how much we get for that. I'm cooking potatoes right now. And I've been getting a lot of tips from people on where they think either Lizzie or the League of Villains base is. Right now we're not doing anything to go after them because we just did. So we kind of want to give them some time to get themselves put back together a little bit, see what they do. We'll wait to see what their next move is. The ball's in their court. We do have manners, you know. <laughs> we're keeping the diamonds because I did actually need those because I literally ran out of diamonds. So I'm not gonna sell those. If I had gotten, I had been mining for like an hour, I'm not gonna lie. And if I had gotten more diamonds than I needed, I was gonna sell them, but I literally didn't find any until now. So we're gonna keep those. But I am gonna sell all of this iron and, and gold all of this coal and all of this redstone. We're at 521,000. I mean, my money was like four the other day. There we go. That is everything. That's a decent haul. We're gonna go to spawn, see how much this sells for. Probably not a lot. It's not actually, it's not actually a lot, but I just kind of wanted to sell whatever I could today at the end of the stream, everything that I got for mining, just to see at the end of the video. Oh my God, I've been streaming too much. We sell coal. Now we sell redstone. Now we sell iron. Now we sell gold. The ore blocks themselves are worth more. I might start silk touching if that's what I'm gonna do when I go mining. Okay, we went up a few thousand. Which when you have half a million dollars is basically nothing. That's where we're gonna end today's video. Next video we're gonna continue our mission to a million dollars and hopefully finish. That's the goal. Next video, hopefully we finish getting a million dollars. We spend a lot of time in the nether, a lot of time mining, silk touching all the ore blocks. Leave a like if you enjoyed watching. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.